we want to make sure that we are pretty far away from anyone else uh, during you know this epidemic or uh, this pandemic that's going on uh, been quite a few people showing up here at the beach so uh, we just wanted to get away uh, and uh, be as far away from others as we can basically uh, and distance ourselves but found a nice little spot here on the beach and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get the rods together uh, load up the lines and uh, go ahead and uh, start throwing them out All right, here we go it's high tide right now we're gonna be fishing an outgoing tide the entire time that we're here 6 30 is the highest tide which is right now we're right here at high tide low tides at 12 54 so around one o'clock it's gonna be low tide sunrise is at 7 30. so then i'm gonna actually go over here to my barometer to see if that pressure has come down it's about 30.2 so that than last night? no it's about the same so it hadn't dropped yet so we'll see how the fishing is today though but today we got a couple different rigs to to try out we have a native pump boss with a 30 fluorocarbon and a 2 watt eagle claw hook i uh, got this from native when i ordered my sand fleas and my salted clams so i'm trying those out today and then i uh, also brought some shrimp and uh chip gave me two of his rigs that he makes my dad's caught double bluefish this is named after your dad yeah double redfish two trout two pompano pompano and whitey black drum redfish double double on that rig on this rig all right in that's what i'm talking about 2019. Yeah. <laughs> sweet I couldn't name it after anybody else. That's right. If you do that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So if you want some Bruno rigs, you can also get these from uh, the local tackle shops too, where you. Just right? I know it's Resellers Reef. Just Resellers yep. Reef. I've seen them at Resellers Reef hanging right above the Sputniks. Yep. They're hanging right above. But a lot of times you go in, they're not there because they're sold out. True. But you can go online too. Yep. Right. In order for you. Yep. yep. Okay. The first one set up. We got the shrimp on here. Uh, I got also on the bottom for the shrimp. I got a shrimp fish bite on there just to kind of if the shrimp come off. So we're going. This is the first rod out. Fish on, fish on. First fish this morning. Mikey got hooked up already on the shrimp. Fish on. You got it. We got a little whiting. Yeah, little whiting. All right, first fish of the day. Mikey got the whiting. Oh yeah, that's what oh. I'm talking about. Way to go, Mikey. Eat. You got it. You eat. All right. <laughs> yes. Another hookup. Let's see what he got. Chips out here with us, and right next to us. Just threw the rods, the, set up the rods, and threw the lines in. Let's see what he got. good one it's fighting good okay nice whiting nice yeah nice fish <laughs> another fish on all right so we're using the uh, uh, salted clam by native I have the, the regular and I have the orange. So on this guy, I'm gonna put a the regular up top and the, the orange on bottom. And then the last, uh, I'm gonna use the native rig and put the pompano on the native rig. So that'll be the next one going out. But right now, here goes the salted clams next. You just want a mouth pull for these whiting. So cut this just enough they can get their mouth around it and to eat it. Like that. All right, so real quick, this is the native 
um, rig right here, the Pomp Boss. And um, I have Chip's uh, Bruno rig right here also. Now, uh, when I got the, the Pomp Boss uh, rig, I noticed um, how it was set up as far as like, how it looked. As far as like which way the line was put through the hook. You see how it sits like that? it's kind of back and then I was looking at chips rig the Bruno rig the Bruno rig so uh, I basically asked uh, chip um, is there a preference this is a this is called just presentation so So when you're when you go in from the front, it makes a natural looking bait. See how it curls? Yeah, it looks it's more like, like a, a little shrimp. shrimp. Yeah. Now, if you start catching a bunch of uh, weeds and stuff, you flip, flip it, it around. Flip it around. Okay. But you see how much how much better presentation that looks? Mm -hmm. it looks like an actual something that would be in the ocean. Yeah. So that's why. And then this distance here, from there to there, is what I had perfected. So Just I don't over time. Many catch, catfish. I know catfish come up and swim up. So I don't catch very many of them. So you can get it, I mean, pretty good with that board. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I gotta make one of those boards. My wife and I can, we can, uh, during watch TV, we put out a board. Okay, that's a good idea. Yeah, if you want to learn how to make that board, I'll put it right here up top. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah cause it's uh, I'll put a link to Chip's Chip's uh, video. Yeah. yeah and at the end, I'll put it at the end also and then down below. Yeah, it's, it's easy. Sweet. All right. Thank you. Uh, for the native uh, sand fleas, I like to get a little bit of the orange salted clam and put underneath here uh, to make it look like they're eggs. That's just something I like to do, so. Little chart right there. Here we go. Coming in, coming in. Another whiting. All right. Some whiting on the shrimp. <laughs> you got it. There you go, Mikey. Bring it in, bring it in. What you got there? So, what are catfish? Catfish. Catfish. <laughs> catfish. No. Catfish. <laughs> you let it loose. So. More move. More, the more movement. Fish on! Fish on! So the more movement we have, the more that they feel us. So what we're gonna just look for is, is just things in the in the sand here. And I just picked them up right here in this little wash. See that all comes together right there? That V right there? Mm-hmm. Yep. So, or right there. And I just shook a bunch, so. Really nice size ones today. There they are, right there. You'll see it while you'll see it here in just a sec. Right, the wave's gonna open them up now. I don't see them that 
Kata. Got some. <laughs> we just push a bunch of fleas out. Chip got here. See if he's got a whiting or another catfish. Is that a pompadour? Oh, it's a drum. Oh, nice drum. Yeah. Nice drum. Oh, yeah. He was head shaking. Oh yeah. Good job, man. Oh, look at that. Nice size. Colored bead was that on? Is that the purple? Uh, the what purple is that? Purple bead. <laughs> Michael's bead. No way. It looks like he's pretty much there. Are they be I think six. I think that one's like. Yeah, I think it's got to be fourteen. Yeah, bigger than fourteen. Let's see what we got here. It looks about fifteen, sixteen. Yeah. Oh. Down Just making it, I think. 14. And a half. Uh, on the other side, we're a little bit more. 15. 15. Over 14. Right. Yep. Black drum sandwich. <laughs> That's it. It was going. All right, go it. Go get it. I don't know. I don't know. It was going. Oh, what that is? <laughs> what do you like to use as far as like line? I usually, uh, a lot of people want to use a 17. I, uh, I really like a 12 pound. 12 pound for the braid? Uh, 50 or pound braid. So 50 pound braid. I, everything's determined by, um, by what size sinker you're going to throw. So if it's four, four ounce sinker, you're going to throw a 40 pound braid chuck. If it's a five ounce sinker, you want to throw a uh, but sometimes I switch my reels onto different rods, so that gives me an ability to have to change that up. Okay. I will teach this rig uh, on how to make this rig on one of my future videos. Yeah, so be watching out for it. And uh, <laughs> this, this is my live bait rig, normally put with crabs and, and uh, clams, or crabs and, and sand fleas typically. I like fishing this rotten rig. Uh, now all your reels abu yeah i, I, I akios also i uh, started with the abus and i love the abus the akios cast a little bit better uh the newer we got red reels 22 or 24 years old by its serial number how about your rod where do you get your rods from you have uh, mark burford at florida surf casters I see. I see how the the eye comes like yeah, one's towards and one's to be away. Dual, dual wrong. Uh huh. Uh, so this gives you the ability to throw both both uh, spinner or a bait caster. 
That's what this, they call it a dual rung. It's a dual rung? Dual rung, are you? Rung, okay, dual rung. Yeah, so then okay. it gives you the ability to cast either, either way. Either one. I was thinking about getting some just some taller rods, like the 12 footers at least, yes, instead of the 10. You think just by doing that will increase the, the distance? Absolutely. Uh, just distance by the length of the rod, uh, if you know how to cast it off, will give you another, if you go from 10 to 12, it'll give you another 40, maybe 50 yards. And that's, that could, oh. be, the, that could be a game. And if you're playing on a high tide, uh, on a high tide beach like this, you can just see, you, you've got to be out there and you can get about three quarters of the way, but if you can get just past that other breaker there, uh -huh. there's going to be fish there. Okay. And, and that's the hard part is... So definitely go with a, with a 12 footer. Yeah, 12 footer. Okay. Yeah, you, know, you can always have that 10 footer for that enclosed rod, which is a great enclose. It would be good for black drum and redfish when they are when they come in. So it's always a good thing to have a short rod, but you don't have to have a short rod. But if you have one, you don't have to get rid of it. You can still utilize it. Okay. So, yeah, 12 footer, 12 or 13. 12 foot's the best size to start learning how to really cast it. Letting the rod do all the work. Let the rod bend. Let the rod uh, unbend. Now, what do you like to go with? Like a medium, or me I mean, a medium heavy or heavy? I go with medium. Medium. Yeah, the heavy. The like the pin battalion heavy is a broomstick. Right. And I've seen those. I was like, and I've been like holding it like that. I was like, no, that's not. <laughs> and if you, and if you, <laughs> if you want to fish a heavy rod, you can do that. But by the end of the day, you just get tired. So. So just a medium. Just, just a medium, yeah, medium action. Okay. See the old suck out, the white water pulling mm -hmm. out, and you yes. can see it just a second. So that's where I was sitting yesterday, but the tide was way out. So, which was that, exactly where we were, right? Mm -hmm. But you couldn't see it then, but you will, you'll see it here in just a second. So it makes a big, now it's a big churn up right there. Mm -hmm. So another place that, because we now have, we removed, but now we could see another spot to, to choose another place if we wanted to. If we weren't having any luck here, if that makes sense. But I was standing. But... Yes. They keep diving down and getting the fish out of the water right here, right where we're at. They keep diving down. All these, they're right. All of them. They just keep diving down and getting them. They're right there. I see it. I can literally see them. Yeah, you can see them. These are ospreys, right? Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. He's got one, I think. I think so. Wade's well, gonna get him. He's got it. Yeah, he's got it. All right. Them ospreys are feeding on them whitey. And the bait fish. Wow. That's amazing. Look at this one. This one's got one too. Yeah. Well, that's it for us today. I uh, hope you enjoyed going out with uh, me and Chip. Uh, this was a two-day event. Um, first day was just uh, me, Chip, and Katie, and Mikey. And the next day was just me, Mikey, Chip, and some friends of his. So um, if you're interested in uh, the native salt baits, definitely go online. Um, check out their product. Uh, also, Chip. Uh, is the sinker guy you can buy his sputnik weights at the local bait shops uh, you can uh, also buy the uh, bruno rig only at resellers reef if you're local but uh, once again if you're not local you can always go online to the sinker and purchase any of his products so i hope you uh, learned something today i know i did uh, and uh, learning something new every time i'm telling you uh, great, great time going out there and catching some fish. So, uh, anyway, I uh, hope y'all enjoyed it again. Uh, if you haven't yet, please like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, be safe out there, and till next time. <laughs>